Spider-Man talk. Bam. Here we go. Some Spider-Man. Everyone likes mm. Spider-Man. If you haven't seen Spider-Man No Way Home, well, we just ruined it for you earlier anyway, but we're going to keep <laughs> ruining it for you. According to insider Daniel Richmond, Sony Pictures is developing a film where the three Spider-Man will face Null, the god of symbiotes. If this is confirmed, we would see Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield battle an army of them, which would include Venom and Carnage. And Scotty, you commented on it. I saw this thread. You commented on it. With the, Do you want to read this when I put it up? So it's in your yeah. your words, in your, yeah, man. in your words. Here you go. Full right send. Here. Yeah, because there are people that are skeptic of these rumors. And uh, the, the leaker, Rickman, he's on point, man. These are just people who are in the know. Uh, and my comment basically just says... For the skeptics, I would just say that the post credit scene of Drunk Venom has way more importance than most people are pointing out. The bartender just told Eddie and Venom and the rest of the billions of years of the hive mind that this Earth has superpowered beings that include Iron Man, Thor, who's a literal god, and Hulk. Null is now aware of this fact by default, and I just imagine him in the symbiote verse literally doing nothing. And he hears these echoes of the conversations and is like, wait a minute, there's a God over there. There's a this, there's a that. Um, our earth is also mid guard. Like this earth has a lot of energy in the MCU that attracts a lot of attention. Uh, but yeah, so literally whatever little symbiote was left behind. Uh, I think that was basically null just being like, I'm going to keep my eye on this specific place. Um, I don't know if he just sent an underling or it could be a Venom. I mean, it could be a multiversal version of Venom. I haven't seen Venom 2. Let, okay. there, be, let there be Carnage because I, I was well, not. We just basically told you the whole. You did. <laughs> and and I, I've seen, I have, my nephew did show me the end, the, the ending, which was great. <laughs> it's like don't show me that but look at it okay great thank you so much for that uh steve you're a huge uh venom guy where do you still how do you feel about this well um it's definitely uh it's definitely interesting that way to like like i said like it gets Noel having his little prying his fingers into the mcu by just by leaving that little you know inch of uh, ooze uh of, of venom in there so I think it's a great way to, you know, introduce it and bring it in. I don't see it going the way of, uh, you know, the planet of the symbionts. I think that's kind of a whole different story. Um, I don't think Null will be as a uh, powerful or as big as uh, he is in the, in, in the, in the comics. I just don't think a character like that can be done appropriately to scale as he is in the comics as he is on the big screen. And that's not a complaint. I think they could probably put their own interesting spin on him uh, with a little bit of limitations. Um, that way he's facing off against the three Spider-Mans versus facing off against the entire MCU because that's how it is in the comics, right? Um, so uh, I'm on board. You know, I, I don't know too much about Null. Null's a little bit past uh, uh, when I was re reading all the Venom comics and whatnot. But, you know, I that and that makes me excited because i don't i don't have any preconceived notions really that uh you know what to expect out of null so i just think if they can throw him at us at, uh, i won't say at a mid-level bad guy but you know instead of being this all-powerful deity you know god of the symbiotes i don't know i'm on board i'm I think shocked you can grab these guys back you do it scotty say again i think if you bring if you can get all three of them back in the movie again you do it because you just made over a billion dollars the first time. You mm -hmm. milk find that. A way. You milk that cow. Yeah, exactly. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna just say my concern is how early this is being reported on. But yeah, in theory, in theory, this could be their end game. The Sony Spider-Man end game. So they're just leaving this Venom, or they're just leaving a, sy a symbiote in the MCU for now to build their stories. Um, like parallel to one another because you know venom in theory venom should still go through the lethal protector phase he should still team up with spider-man he should still do all these things eventually we'll get there they just cast um dakota johnson as madam webb so we'll probably get not the old blind um madam webb but there's another madam webb and i saw this on youtube earlier today because everybody's talking about it but basically the old Madam Web that you know passes her powers on to this other girl who in theory could be her. Uh, 
but long story short is like null doesn't have to be super powerful right away he could just kind of come in and, and be scoping it out as this other symbiote you know a mimic or whatever but i also go to like i don't know what you guys thoughts are on gore the god butcher and how you know he just randomly stumbles across two gods in the comics one's all black and the other one is not and he ends up killing one of them with an all black sword I don't know if they'll try to connect things that way in this MCU, but I feel like all these reports and these movies are coming out right around the same time. Do you think that uh, Marvel and Sony are going to work hand in hand going forward on more than just uh, Spider-Man? Not just Spider or yeah, just the, just the Spider-Man properties they own. I think because they want to allow them to bounce back and forth. So I think we'll get just that, but I don't, I don't think, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. Uh, Sony doesn't own null. Null was created after that original agreement with Sony. So Marvel does have full access to, to null. So do we see null showing up in the MCU in kind of putting, planting seeds in there, uh, particularly maybe in secret wars? I love that. I didn't know that the rights were that way. So that is like, a card that Marvel has now yeah, in their, in their back pocket. But yeah, ever since they did the re negotiation agreements, I think they've known they were going to do stuff like this. And Tom Holland was like, we, just, we need to pull the trigger on this. We can get Garfield back. We can get Toby back. We can do the Spider-Man verse the exact same way. Marvel is doing their stuff. I, think I love he's that. Leading the charge. I love that we all watched a funny post credit scene and had a good laugh. And you're like, that's a spinoff. That is no, that is a God. That's what the, we're all. Like, My oh, mind just went drunk. there, dude. Yeah. We're like, that's funny. He was drunk. That's awesome. And you're like, no, that's a God. And this is the end game. The spider verse end game right here. That's what dude. And it's like venom is like the lovable dope. And he, the whole time was complaining about how uh, Eddie was drunk. And he was just trying to leave. But, like, Null was listening, man. They specifically were, like, going through the list of all the Avengers. And Venom's just, like, taking notes. You know what I mean? Uh, it was too too spot on for me. And then when the symbiote was left behind, I was like, they literally just got done saying the billions of years of knowledge. That's why Venom recognized Spider-Man, because Topher Grace has seen a Spider-Man. That's the connection. Yeah. That's so much. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. It's going to be a lot. I just hope they don't rush it. You know, they should do Garfield's third movie. They I should. see. I don't think they will, because I think I think Tom McGuire and Garf. Well, maybe not, but I think they're like, OK, we just did this. Let's put it to bed for a little bit and we'll revisit it in like maybe a few years. Not too many it, years. Do you see it coming cool. in the. Sorry, do you see it coming into play in Craven or Morbius? Like again, little little pieces here and there. Scotty, I'll leave that to you. That would be nuts. We still because of the weird trailer for Morbius where it's got like the PlayStation Spider-Man on it or yeah. something. Have you seen <laughs> yeah. that? And they literally just said it was a mistake, I think. <laughs> they uh and okay, yeah, dude, like it is. It's weird. Morbius says we are venom to the homie. Yeah. I so don't that, know, so, and and vultures in it. Vultures, like what? What? Where does Morbius take place? <laughs> well, well, okay, but yeah, I I don't think I don't think this is gonna happen. But I know you kind of mentioned that some other people have speculated that Morbius is getting pushed back again this time, maybe to add Andrew Garfield to it. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think the movie is done. I would, I'm with you on that one, but I think the movie's done. But how? But how could that make sense for Andrew Garfield to appear in Morbius if? Vulture's in it from Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And if Vulture's in it, how how does he know a Venom? How does he say we are Venom? <laughs> like, how has he seen that, know the quote? Like, come on, Marvel, what are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, is it Marvel or is this just Sony? Like, yeah, yeah we'll like, just, whatever. They're DCing it. That's what they're doing. They oh, don't even man. care. <laughs> <laughs> It's a brand new world. <laughs> it totally is. Steve, where does the where does Morbius, Venom, and Tom Holland take place? Are they in the same or are they all separate? I don't know. Up until like a week ago, I was really thinking it was all within the MCU. Now I'm 
I don't know. I, I that, that last trailer just kind of shook me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're going to find out. And, Venom's going to come out eventually. Or Morbius is going to come out eventually. At some point in the next decade, that movie will, will hit the screen. <laughs> I really hope they pull a lot from the animated series. Because Morbius like worked with Spider-Man. He was trying to cure uh, Dr. Connors, Lizard's um, thing in the comics. But now like Tom Morbius Holland's too young. Tom Holland's too young yeah. for that to be the case. So that would make more sense to be Andrew Garfield yes. or Tom McGuire, but I think more likely Andrew Garfield. And Andrew Garfield wants to come back. And I don't think Amazing Spider-Man 3 is going to happen. I think that ship has come and sailed. But Andrew Garfield could appear in a Craven, could appear uh, probably not in a Morbius, but in a Madam Web. That's where you could plant your Andrew Garfield seeds, and then you can have them all team up later. Because Tobey Maguire, you know, he's great and everything, but I think he's older and he's kind of like he's not going to be Spider Man. I don't think he'll be Spider Man with the other two Spider Man. But I think Spider Man Four, Sam Raimi. Uh, I don't think that's on the table. I think he's just, yeah, he's, he's, he's just he's, back for the cameos. We're not. For he's going to be old, old man Spidey, is what he's going to yeah. be. Yeah, he was going to be Michael Keaton and Batgirl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it all Hopefully connects. not as random, but... <laughs> it's, just, it's just very... It's all random. And J.K. Simmons will be in it as well because he's uh, J. Jonah Jameson. So it's, it's basically... The... <laughs> now, I have a... I got an old theory from a thing that uh, Tom Hardy did, actually. He, he tweeted and deleted uh, Venom biting a Spider-Man yeah. in half. That was right I after have... two, right? After Carnage. Yeah. Yeah. And I have always speculated that it would be kind of cool and also kind of tragic that if he killed um, Andrew Garfield. Oh. And somehow that was how um, the rivalry started between Holland and somebody else. And then the Venom attaches to Holland in that moment or, you know, but some kind of stakes. I just thought it was interesting that Tom Hardy tweeted a picture of him killing a Spider-Man. That would be I didn't see that'd it. be oh. intriguing. What was that, Steve? I, I didn't see that. I didn't hear about that. He, mm. he I'm surprised he had to delete it because it was a drawing. But I think that's very yeah. intriguing. It's very intriguing to me that he would I think also I don't know if they're gonna kill any of those Spider-Man because Toby Maguire, they had a chance to with Toby Maguire. Like the mm. very, very they had mm -hmm. like they did, and then they're like, nah, he's fine. I've been stabbed yeah. before. So I don't know, but that would be kind of neat if that were the case if he went back to his time sought out spider-man ate his head off and then uh somehow the tom Holland thing happened i, I forgot about that post but mm -hmm. yeah he posted that i think right after or right before like right after let there be carnage was a big hit I think. and there's still no confirmation as to like what universe he's in if he's in the garfield or if he's in the toby we don't know right mm -hmm. No, except for or what is, you said, he might be in the yeah. Morbius one, which is in the Tom Holland one, maybe, I think, because of Vulture. Yeah. It And that's the whole, like, the fine print of that contract. Nope. <laughs> nah, I'm not reading that, sorry. <laughs> no. There's probably so many little, like, you can put J.K. Simmons in here, but he has to be the father of them, not them. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult, Steve. No. Anything? Anything you want to add to to this before we move on? Well, I was just thinking, what if so? You know, uh, Tobey Maguire Spider Man is injured at the end of the movie, and you know he's gonna be weak. They send him back to the universe, and Craven kills him. That's that, that's. I think that could play out in Craven movie. Tobey Maguire doesn't have to be heavily involved in it. It could literally be the first scene um, to establish Craven, and because I think. A Craven movie without a Spider Man doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And I don't see it being Tom Holland. So then you got Garfield and you got uh, McGuire, and everybody's clamoring to see more of the uh, uh, Andrew Garfield version of Spider Man. So why not, you know, let him, let him kill off uh, a weakened uh, old man Spidey and kind of establish Craven. And then you could take that movie in any direction you want after that. And I would be more vi uh, vested in, in seeing it, knowing that he just bumped off Spider Man. And I don't think he ever did really did did Craven ever defeat him in the comics? Was that would that be like a new take? I think you were just going right down there. I thought you were gonna say it, but Craven kills a Spider-Man. There you go. See, so I don't know too much. It's about Craven's Craven. last hunt. I'm pretty sure he kills him, doesn't he? It's you guys are obsessed with killing off Spider-Man. I think <laughs> two two of them have to go, James. Like the, the Miles the Miles Morales one. I mean, if they're they, gonna play off that, 
He's got to mentor him. And... They can't go until Null comes, though. Yeah. Kingpin's <laughs> got to be involved, too, somehow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. And they it's have all the pieces. Crazy. Mm-hmm. And t- Tom Holland wants to do a Spider-Man movie with Daredevil also. So Daredevil, throw him in there. And we're getting that. I think that's going to be fast tracked. He'll show up in like the Daredevil season or something crazy. I think Tom Holland's down for doing it anyway. He's like, mm-hmm. it's like I'll just. Mm-hmm. I, that's why I don't see why he can't show up in Craven or Madam Web. He wants to do it. Stop yeah. like pretending that you don't have him and just throw him in these movies. He's gonna yeah. do them. I don't know what he gets paid, but just they make him sign a twenty movie deal. He'll do it. Throw him in there. You can be in all of those movies. They all have these weird continuities. Who cares? But he's there. We're happy. He's happy. They make a billion dollars. Madam Web's only going to make a billion dollars if Tom Holland shows up and goes, "This is guess what? There's a multiverse." Yes, yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> oh man, if I'm if I'm playing Spider Man until I'm thirty, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, you're <laughs> Tom, making a lot of money. Tom, we know what you're money. doing, Tom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sign a twenty picture deal.